Police have been out here for the majority of the day. They're still out here on scene, bringing out boxes and boxes of this marijuana, also bringing out several other things of evidence. Mayor Carolyn Goodman still inside, thanking and hugging all of her supporters and campaign staff for all of the hard work that they put in over this campaign. Now, obviously, these results have come in. Mayor Carolyn Goodman will remain our mayor for four more years. And we actually spoke with neighbors as well. They said there were several police here on scene as well as SWAT, and they even heard flashbangs this morning. So we'll hear more from those neighbors coming up tonight at 10 on Fox 5 News. All four of Tammy Myers' children out here tonight, along with her husband, Robert Myers. There were several other family members and friends, and this mother who was shot and killed during what's being called a road rage incident. Kevin Elizabeth Kelly Phillips claiming that her husband, John Drew Lachaud, deserves all the blame in this case. Now, District Attorney Steve Wolfson says, bottom line, there was a dead child in this case, felony behavior, and those responsible need to be held accountable. I spoke with Bella's mother this afternoon, Tanya Grogan, and she tells me that she spent the day at the funeral home with Bella. She says she had to hold her hand one last time and tell her daughter goodbye. And the physical demands of keeping up with practice is pretty tough. And Hay says, although you can still get some pretty decent flowers on the day, Saturday, Valentine's Day, she says you should be ordering as soon as possible. That way you get exactly what you want. Live in the newsroom, Danielle Miller, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. On that note, Danielle, what would you like? <laughs> uh, maybe a diamond ring. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Flowers, candy, you know, the usual. <laughs> <laughs> or a diamond ring. Or, or a diamond one. ring, it works. Diamond ring with chocolate, with Absolutely. flowers. Who knows, yes. right? Sugar-free chocolate, if that, so oh, I can look good in the wedding. You know. Wow, now she is picky <laughs> and planning ahead. I like that about you. Flath has posted 200 posts, so now she just has 165 to go until August when Jessie comes home. If you want to follow her on her journey, you can do so on Instagram at Flath is my hero. Danielle Miller, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas. It was just after 8 this morning when Red Rock Search and Rescue Commander David Cummings received a very unexpected call. Now, the person on the other end told him that the man they had been searching for for days had showed up here at the El Dorado Gold Mine and he was ready to come home. That call came from the boss of 53 year old Kevin Landis. He reported him missing after not showing up to work on Monday. I don't believe this. He's alive. So we immediately got in our vehicle and we headed to the location. And there he was, standing on the front porch, you know, obviously dehydrated, obviously beat up, tired, um, but again, in remarkable shape. Cummings and his team of nearly 90 volunteers set out to find Landis. They also took their search to the sky with the help of Aero Data. It was looking more like a recovery. You know, you always want to keep hope situations just like this. Cummings says Landis, an avid hiker, left his Henderson home on foot on the 2nd for a camping trip near River Mountains Loop Trail. That's just west of Lake Mead. At some period in time, he says he passed out for a couple days, he thinks. But somehow he got from those river mountains to the other side of Boulder City, down to the river itself, and he said uh, he, he was so dehydrated, he started drinking river water with uh, iodine tablets. Landis eventually worked his way down the river towards Nelson's Landing, and here he called for help. The distance from his front door to the community of nine, nearly 30 miles. Cummings says with that distance and the amount of time spent outdoors with little food and water, he's lucky to be alive. You start tracking it and running some search theory and seeing where he possibly went, it starts adding up to, you know, 40, 45, 50 miles easy. Landis will remain hospitalized overnight just for observation, but he is said to be in fair condition. From El Dorado Canyon, Danielle Miller, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas. Saw danger and made the choice to do something about it. Sheriff Doug Gillespie says those actions Wilcox took on that fateful Sunday morning are nothing short of heroic. He was a man who was willing to be that person maybe some of us hope to be when danger looks us squarely in the eyes. He says not only did Wilcox help other citizens that day, but the entire Metro Police Department and his actions allowed other citizens to leave the Walmart alive. Never had the honor of meeting Joseph Wilcox 
but I can tell a lot about who he was by his actions. Loving and lovable that everyone who knew him loved him. Pastor Steve Withy says Wilcox lived a quiet life, went to work and paid his bills, and loved his family more than anything. He was a self-proclaimed computer geek, loved taking his nieces swimming, and was his sister CJ's superhero. He was giving and kind and had a way of drawing out the best in people. Joseph's mother, Debbie, was given an American flag with police honors, and Wilcox received a Medal of Valor from Councilman Bob Coffin. He stopped a disaster from happening. Gillespie says a community is only as good and as strong as the people who live in it, and Joseph made Las Vegas a better place, and he will be missed for it. Joseph Wilcox was a man who his family and friends and this entire community should be proud of. Come tomorrow morning, these girls will be headed to Florida to compete for a national championship. But before they head out, they had to show off their skills to their home crowd. Just to uh, bring a good routine and show them what we got. That's the hope of senior UNLV cheerleader Carly Hughes. She, her teammates, and the Rebel Girls taking tonight to perform in front of hundreds for the last time with what they hope will be championship performances. Both teams will be going up against powerhouse schools like Oregon, Kentucky, and LSU at the UCA UDA Nationals this weekend in Orlando, Florida. The competition is one of the biggest for both sports and proves who's the top cheerleaders and dancers. We're here to support athletics, but it is the one thing that these young women get to do that's solely for themselves to represent their university and really practice and work on their craft. UNLV cheer and dance director Marcia D. Castroverde says the girls start prepping for a competition like this in April, shortly after the teams are selected. One, two, three, and four. Cheer will be competing their all-girl routine at this particular competition for the first time in a few years. The Rebel girls are no stranger to the competition, competing for the last seven. They will compete in the hip-hop and palm division. We won a national championship in D1A hip-hop uh, in 2013. We actually got second place by .10 last year, so we're back for the win for sure. On top of the two-a-day practices getting ready for the big weekend, the girls have to keep up with game schedules and classwork. And the physical demands of keeping up with practice is pretty tough. Competition season is always the toughest for us. We don't really get any breaks, which is hard, but it's awesome for us because we want nothing more than to come out of this as national champions. Senior Rebel girl Caitlin Thompson says each routine is about two minutes long instead of the normal 50 second timeout at games. This is her favorite part about competing. It's great to be able to show people what we've been working on up to this point because it's stuff that we wouldn't normally be able to do at a basketball game because it's a little bit too difficult for that environment. Win or lose this weekend, the girls say they are still proud of all the hard work they've put in over this year and they'll definitely be coming home to cheer on their Rebels. Yeah.